I th a good question. I think that you know it's important to uh, to be a little bit broad um, and to you know have. Of course, nowadays, especially, you know, to have computer skills, programming skills. As scientists, in, in, for instance, in solar physics, you know, we do programming to you know, create programs that we can, you know, allows us to look at the data and all that. So I think, of course, computer skills is kind of an obvious one. But uh, in, in general terms, it's, it can be okay to have a narrow focus, you know, have one area of research that that's all that you're going to do because you, you, you're going to become an expert in that area, of course. But I think it's also important to keep in mind, well, it's not bad to broaden out a little bit in case your one area, um, you know, funding doesn't actually happen for that area for a while. So I think it's important to keep your mind open to other, um, you know, it doesn't have to be completely irrelevant to what you're studying, but kind of keep yourself a little broad so that it allows you, um, you know, more opportunities if you need them. Uh, so, but again, it's, it's good to also be a, an expert in one particular field or one area, but if you can spread that out a little bit, I think that would be beneficial as well.